1636, a seed of knowledge was sown in the New World. The Massachusetts Bay Colony, a haven for Puritan settlers, established a college in Cambridge. They named it Harvard College, after John Harvard, a young minister who bequeathed his library and half his estate to the institution. This act of generosity laid the foundation for what would become one of the world's most prestigious universities. The early Harvard campus was modest, consisting of a few simple buildings. Life for the first students was rigorous, focused on religious study and the classics. The curriculum reflected the Puritan values of the time, emphasizing theology, Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. The college's primary purpose was to train ministers, the spiritual leaders essential to the Puritan community. These early graduates would go on to shape the religious and intellectual landscape of colonial America. Harvard's founding marked a turning point. It signified a commitment to higher education in the new world. It set the stage for the development of a uniquely American intellectual tradition. Life at Harvard in the 17th and early 18th centuries was far removed from the modern college experience. Students, typically from wealthy families, followed a strict daily routine. Their days were filled with lectures, recitations and religious services. Discipline was severe and students lived under a strict moral code. The curriculum, heavily influenced by European models, aimed to produce well-rounded individuals equipped to lead in all aspects of colonial life. Gradually, Harvard's influence extended beyond the training of ministers. Its alumni took on prominent roles in government, law and medicine. The college began to attract students from across the colonies, solidifying its position as a center of learning in British North America. Despite its growing prestige, Harvard faced challenges. Financial difficulties were common. The college relied heavily on private donations and support from the Massachusetts government. Still, it persevered, adapting to the changing needs of the colonies. The 18th century witnessed significant growth and transformation at Harvard. The college expanded its curriculum beyond its traditional focus on the classics and theology. New subjects such as mathematics, natural philosophy and modern languages gained prominence. The American Revolution had a profound impact on Harvard. Many students and alumni supported the Patriot cause. Some even joined the Continental Army. Following the war, Harvard embraced the spirit of the new nation and its emphasis on practical knowledge and civic engagement. In 1780, a new charter formally established the University at Cambridge. This charter, still in effect today, broadened Harvard's scope beyond a single college. It paved the way for the creation of professional schools and the expansion of research. The end of the 18th century saw Harvard emerge as a leading institution of higher education in the newly formed United States it was poised for even greater changes in the century to come. The 19th century ushered in an era of unprecedented change and expansion at Harvard. The university embraced new ideas and disciplines, transforming itself into a modern research institution. The traditional curriculum gave way to elective courses, allowing students greater freedom in shaping their education. Professional schools flourished, reflecting the growing demand for specialized knowledge. The Harvard Medical School, established in 1782, gained renown for its innovative teaching methods. The Law School, founded in 1817, produced some of the nation's most prominent legal minds. Harvard's campus underwent a physical transformation as well. New buildings designed in the architectural styles of the day replaced the simple structures of the colonial era. The university's library holdings expanded significantly, attracting scholars from around the world. By the end of the 19th century, Harvard had secured its place as one of the world's leading universities. Its commitment to academic excellence, combined with its embrace of new ideas, positioned it for continued growth and influence in the 20th century.